This is Oliver Scott. Some call him Gussie. Man, why you reveal all my <laughs> back home stuff, man? You don't I'm reveal just, that to the people, man. That's, just, just, that's family name. Okay, I'm sorry. Pastor. There you go. That's better. Oliver. There you go. Scott. There you go. There you go. So <laughs> deep. Uh, Joy. Tabernacle. <laughs> that's just black man. What's <laughs> man? So, uh, tell us. Um, you know, I want the people to to. Get a better feel for who you are and what you do and, and all of that. Well, uh, as Chris told you all, uh, my name is Oliver Scott. I'm a gospel recording artist. I've been doing gospel music for, let's see, 20 years or so. Let's see, I started in like 87 full time doing gospel music. So, actually, 86. So, a little over 20 years. And uh, done some, a few recordings, but of late, uh, Begun, but just about finished with my first uh, uh, national release with Black Pearl Music, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so we're excited about the new release. I've been doing music uh, uh, for a living professionally now since I was, you know, doing nightclub gigs when I was 14. I've been into my adult life and after school, I did a, did a little work with a group that some of you may have heard of, a group called the Gap Band. I worked with them for three and a half years as their musical director trombone player and keyboards and singing background so they gave me a little experience at the uh, national level and uh, man, it was a great time did a song that has been very very good to me a uh -huh. song called uh, a yearning for your love and has become you know he's really recognizable amongst those people who follow r&b and so that's been a, a good little feather in my cap over the years and so uh, but we've tried to build on that and uh, since i've been doing gospel music Exclusively, I produced what four projects on myself, and uh, this next project that's coming out, like I said, is going to be on the Black Pearl label, and we recorded uh, most of it live. Yes, yes. A, a hot band, man. Of course, my good friend, our CEO at Black Pearl, Chris Black, was playing bass on it, and uh, we had some very good musicians. So we're excited about that project, and we're going to do uh, probably two or three other songs uh, in the studio. And uh, I just love doing gospel music. That's all I do. You know? and, uh, uh, besides recording, I am full-time in ministry as the associate pastor for music and arts at my home church, which is Joy Tabernacle here in Houston, Texas. And so uh, uh, that's what we do. We do church through the week, and then we uh, minister and do recording as a second stream and as a, as a second kind of way of reaching out to people, you know, putting something in people's hands tangibly. That they can take with them when we uh, go different places. So. Uh, you know, um, in, in the industry today, uh, the singers are different. Yeah. You know, from you know, when you were the Gap Band and mm -hmm. you saw the Commodores and all the other people from the Luthers to all yeah. that. So, you know, the, a lot of things have turned into uh, computerized. Mm -hmm. If you have the, the right equipment, mm -hmm. I can make you sound good. But I want people to know that, you know, it, it, with, with Black Pearl, I wanted to make sure that the people that was a part of Black Pearl mm -hmm. can sing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can sing with the music. They can sing without the music. All right. You know. Mm -hmm. So, as an example of that, you know, Oliver Scott. Yeah, yeah. Because see that, you know. Uh, <clears throat> somebody <throat> never heard you sing. Well, I mean, do you have a request? I mean, is this a request line or should I just sing something? Let's do a medley. A medley. <laughs> <laughs> this brother said, let's do a medley. Okay. No, no, no. What, whatever, whatever you feel. Whatever, band if you want me to whatever, do a medley. Whatever you feel. Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't come prepared to sing. Let me think. What can we do? Uh, well, I normally do something that people are familiar with. Uh, I mean, you can do a little yearning, then you can switch from the yearning. And do a, a gospel song since you're in gospel now, okay. but that's your roots. That's where you came from, though. So okay. you can't forget that. No, you because when they send a check, you definitely don't forget that. <laughs> so you <laughs> keep in remembrance of me. Well, I did. I did a gospel version of "Yearning for Your Love." The original was uh, the original version of it was done from the perspective of 
two lovers, you know, a guy yearning for a girl or a girl yearning for a guy that was no longer there anymore uh, and wanted to get them back. And so I did a gospel version of it and I, I, I tried to, I don't know how effective I was, do it from the perspective of God yearning for the love of his people for them to come back to their right uh, state and uh, position in relationship with him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <clears throat> and so you, you only get that if you really listen to the, the lyrics on the verses. But the hook is the same. My heart is yearning for your love. Oh, my heart is yearning for your love. Oh, yeah. So the, the, the chorus is the same, but the, the verses. And if you buy the CD, you'll get all of the verses. Of course, it's about the same. Uh, as far as something gospel, you know, we do worship, and I mean, what I really love doing is worship. And so we do simple songs like, I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. And that's an old one. Or we'll do something like, oh, you got a request. I do have a request. Okay. Now, in, in light of your um, projects coming out, okay. there's a little piece. Uh, I know where you're going. Yeah. Uh, give, give him a little, little, uh, little bit. We've come to worship your holy name to give you glory, to give you praise. For you alone can save, heal, and deliver. We've come. Come to worship you. Then there's a little hook that says, High upon the throne of glory, you alone are God, you holy. You alone deserve our highest praise. That's why we've come. Worship you. Ooh, that's why we've come to worship.